Hey everyone, and welcome to this very, very rare Thursday stream. Uh, usually I do group meetings with a, uh, a project group I'm part of on Thursdays, which is why I usually say there's never a stream on Thursday. But uh, today we had the meeting early, so <laughs> I figured I might as well get a stream in. So there we go, let's continue on Ape Escape 2. Uh, it made a really good impression on my first stream. It has uh, better voice acting, pretty visuals. Uh, it generally just seems a bit more smoothed out and convenient. So you know what? We're gonna continue playing it and see if it continues to impress. E except for the second boss. That was really... <laughs> it lost a few points with that second boss. I don't want to have to uh, describe it again for all our sanity, but... The, the sumo wrestler guy. That was a bit... A bit much. Let's see, so... I've been trying to make it so we don't get too many texture glitches, but... Well, we'll have to see if it all worked out. Some plants have blood types similar to humans. For example, Japanese radishes are of type O and prunes are of type AB. That's interesting, but kind of pointless when it comes to, you know, catching apes. Also, I wonder if that's actually true. Is it another really, really scary comic? <laughs> Those comics are cute. They don't really contribute much to the story, but I don't think the story is the central part here anyway. Have patience and endure the corny jokes. Something good will happen. Your fortune is fair today. Just try to make the best of it. The corny jokes. It's like they were watching this stream. Well, let's get a few levels in. Um, I'm on kind of a caffeine high right now. So. Oh. The sky flyer makes towering oh, yeah. irrelevant. Use the gadget trainer to learn how to fly like a bird. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Yeah, let's have a quick refresher. Uh, the Skyflyer was definitely my favorite gadget in the original, but let's see if it still works the same. The Skyflyer is a gadget that will help you fly to towering heights. Rotate the right analog stick as fast as you can. Okay, that's the, the same. You rotate it, the higher and longer you can fly. I don't think you can make that jump. It's time for a Skyflyer ride. It even makes the same sound. It's still kind of hard to use, too. Rotating the control stick with my thumb is a bit... Ooh, it does a little animation. That's very cool, that's very cool. So much flare. Nice flying! Now, fly across to that spot. Stand on the spot that's sticking out when you take off. This will carry you over. Be sure to keep rotating. Okay, this information we all know, but I do appreciate that they, uh... First they give you a vertical platform, then they give you a horizontal one. Uh, a horizontal gap, right? Only barely made it, but... There's a great method for flying even further. Oh, that's interesting. First, run and take a great big leap. Then, start spinning your sky flyer. This way, you get extra air time from the jump. Press the jump button. Then rotate the right analog stick, okay? Now, start with a double jump, and you'll soar even further. Go on, give it a try, my boy. Okay. We already knew about this too, but still. Well, 
I guess I, di I guess I didn't know it well enough. Spin to win. Alright, let's get into the level for real. I'm guessing it will require this, uh, the Skyflyer, but... Ah, uh, this looks like a cute area. I'll, uh... I listen to that music, too. Yeah, if there are any more texture glitches, I apologize. I've been trying to get the rid of them, but... Well, 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 we already made our first catch, Sarah. Yeah, there will definitely... I've been told that regardless of what you do, some glitches will persist. Which is troublesome, but... This little part is here just to make sure you remember to use your sky flyer. Very smart and unintrusive. Didn't need the sky flyer for that one though. Ooh, that's not looking so good. <laughs> I think this this <laughs> waterfall is polluted a bit. Aha! That sounded a bit like Donald Duck, to be honest. Nothing up here? Would be a perfect place for a little secret, but fine. You saw me already. And here I was hoping I could uh, start sneaking up. Ooh. That's an aggressive one, huh? You wanna fight? By all means, let's fight. Yeah. Ally? Ally? Ali sounds like more of a name. Those monkeys with the red pants are tough little things. They have a killer punch. You know it's coming when their helmets flash bright red. Ah, that's good to look out for that tell. Probably should have noticed that on my own, but my perception isn't always as good as it should be. <laughs> I think we've established that. Watch as the hunter sets a trap for its prey. It's, it's gonna see me like this. Wasn't my intention to start standing upright, but... Okay, <laughs> the sneaking plan... Uh... I'm here. There you go. Olivia. It's so satisfying to catch them with all the effects and such. I mentioned this, but I thought the uh, the way you caught the very last one in the uh, in the first game was really cool. It was like a triple gotcha. <laughs> You can't underestimate embellishing the moment a little bit. You want to reward your player. Oh, the cursor isn't being recorded, is it? It'd be awkward. Oh, no, it isn't. I have left it on screen, but I've set OBS to specifically not stream it, so it's all, it's all good. No cursors to be seen here. River 
is dangerous, Jimmy. You would better use the boat I've prepared for you. This guy gets around, huh? Just put a boat here. Opposite directions to paddle the boat. To turn, press down. This water is dangerous. Jumps right into it. Definitely uh, never short on the gold coins. They're generous with those. I mean, <laughs> we still haven't run out of the supply we got when we did the casino level. Now I can't unhear Donald Duck. Accuracy is my middle name. <laughs> And then he died. Alright, so it's pretty obvious we need to use our little RC car here. me to use the sky flyer but I didn't know what to switch out so I kind of didn't use it there we go gotcha Simeon tell I think there's a joke in there I don't get, but fine. Whoa. Yeah, we should probably get across first. I could u really use one of those cookies, guys. I guess there's no point in really uh, <laughs> driving the car over here. I can just resummon it anyway. <laughs> For a short, brief moment there, I was worried I had killed it. You're mine, Gil. Gilman the Bold. Banana peels floating here. Banana pollution, huh? Huh, <laughs> Chris. Surprisingly normal name for a monkey. One more to catch. That's all. Ah, we've come back here. Did 
just getting reaccustomed to the swimming mechanics again. Not that we really need them in this stage, but... If I had to guess, uh, if I, uh, it looks like they nerfed the Skyflyer a bit though. I feel like it was more powerful in the original. To be fair, it was very nearly a game breaker in certain situations, so I can't really blame them. Once I get back to the lab, I should just spend gold coins until I get cookies from the machine. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. Cookies. Okay, very good. Building up those gold reserves again. Ah, and there is the final monkey we need to catch. But we can already see one thing. If he sees us, he's gonna jump into the mech. Question is, can we prevent this? Nope. Well, time to die, I guess. Oh. It can even defend itself at close range. Abort, abort, abort. It's no use! Almost had him though. Oh man, I need to stop forgetting that those things can track me. <laughs> Immediately forgets it again. Gun! <laughs> Good name. Another level completed. Or finished, at least. That was excellent work, Jimmy. Why, thank you. <laughs> was that all you wanted to say? Okay. Thank you. Well, if you were going to say something, it might as well be something nice. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, well, I mean, we already have four cookies again, so... We don't really need the cookies anymore. Oh, hey, another manga. Well, that's interesting. So does the monkey net just teleport them, then? Completely forgot about that. Ah, extra life, very good. There are some things you really can't uh, do anything about. Your fortune is fair today. Just go with the flow, man. What is this hipster nonsense? <laughs> okay, that looks <laughs> interesting. Oh, another note from Spectre. Is it going to be another 
pretentious quote. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Another manga. I would comment on that, but we agreed not to speak about Yellow Monkey, so we won't. <laughs> Today's fortune, so many fortunes. Let's be nice to people who have come away, come from far away places. Your fortune is very good today, you're in the groove. Well, that's a nice message, let's leave it at that for now. Jimmy, I'm sending a new gadget. I hope this helps you. The banana rang attracts monkeys with its powerful aroma. A bit of training in the gadget trainer and you'll be the Pied Piper of the jungle. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? This is a new one, so let's uh, let's check it out. Yeah. All right. Just look at this majestic image. His his locks flowing in the wind. Oh, oh, now he's starting to do exercises. Not very good at it yet, but we can't use it from the camera, I guess. There we go. There we go. Simple enough. The way it floats into place, uh, in place after you throw it. Man, this music. Why is this tutorial music so good? Taught how to release a delicious banana aroma. Try throwing it towards the switch over there, and then activating the scent. The monkey decoy will react to the scent. Look. Well, that's fun. I like it. by using the monkey cam on the monkey radar. Point the monkey radar towards a monkey and press the L2 button. This will activate the monkey cam. When you find hungry monkeys, use the banana rank scent to your advantage. Okay, that's interesting. This introduces a whole new variable to the uh, catching of the monkeys. We have to check how hungry they are. I feel like I'm just gonna <laughs> catch them using other means at that point, just to make it less complex. But we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it turns out to be my favorite tool. Ooh, look at the seaside level. And the weird music. Disappeared when I wasn't looking. I think he 
use the transporter to try to send himself back to you, Jimmy. Jimmy, Bimbochi is lost out there somewhere. I'm sorry, my boy. Your mission is even more difficult now. Listen, you'll have to search for Bimbochi while you're catching the monkeys. I'm worried about Bimbochi too, but you have to catch the monkeys first. We're counting on you. All right. Oh, this guy looks like an easy catch. <laughs> You're mine. Ah, I could have snuck up on this guy. Well. No harm, no foul, helmet. a statue and my first impulse is to start hitting it. No respect for the arts. Oh, it's actually an ape mermaid. A, a mermaid? Has science gone too far? This looks like a separate area. We might as well go in though. This guy training? Suze. Okay. I was gonna make a you sue's you lose joke, but I think I already made that one. And we can't be having repeated jokes on this stream. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can actually get in here. This is all just uh, decoration. Fine then. We got an ape, so I'm happy we came in here. Even if the music is super weird. <laughs> Are they all just... Oh man, that, that's a bad texture glitch. Yeah, are they all just, just lounging around on the beach? I guess that is what a beach is for most of the time. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> is that a jellyfish with a battery? Well, I guess that's one way to communicate that they can shock you, but... Oh, is there another ape there? I don't want to leave to another area before we uh, thoroughly check here. Although, when I think about it, a speedrunner might actually ignore easy-to-get monkeys in favor of the harder ones, so you can get the easy ones on revisits. But I'm not speedrunning, I'm playing for fun for the first time, so... All oh, right. I know what they want me to do. I'm no fool. <laughs> He's so upset. <laughs> It's kind of evil to tempt someone hungry with food to catch them like that, though. But hey, the ends justify the means. Ha <laughs> ha hmm, We could go here or there, but either way, this area is done, I think.
<laughs> Mount Rushmore, but eight. Ooh. Lots of gold and an ape here. this water is. Doesn't look like there's anything down there, though. That's probably for the best. I don't do well with sea monsters, as you know. Ah. Uh, this lad is gonna jump right into that UFO and make my life into a nightmare. If I'm not careful. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was the that was my finest ape escape moment. Can we just can we reflect upon this for a moment? I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I don't know why, that just made me really happy. The fact that they allow you to do that. Now they could have just locked him into always jumping into the UFO, whatever you do. But no, if you are fast enough, if your aim is true, you can catch him before he ever jumps in there. Nice. I'm gonna have to <laughs> rewatch this stream and make a clip out of that. Not what they wanted me to do, I can tell you that right now, but I'm probably not gonna take the effort to grab all the gold pieces here. I mean there are a lot. Alright. Banana smell. I hope he can swim. <laughs> Rick. We've got Rick. Alright, let's head back to the start of this area then. going the wrong way. Oh man, that's not good. I should have just set it to maximum compatibility performance be darned. I feel like maybe I'll have to, but if that doesn't fix it, well... We've seen our final prey. Haha! <laughs> yes. Not speedy enough. Nice job. Ah, a boss. It's, uh, I, I saw this one in the preview video. C country girl, uh, monkey. Let's do it! Hey, mister. You came all this way just to what? 
watch my show? Oh, thanks so much. I'm just so happy that all of you lovely people out there have come to see my very first premiere performance. Well, that's not really why I... Uh... In order to thank everybody, I'd like to sing my debut single. Thank you. No Okay. <laughs> okay, I like the little television uh, thing. That's funny. Escape the ape that's in you. An interesting title. I can't believe this. I really love this. The idea of this battle is more fun than the uh, the sumo guy, at least. But there's something really creepy about the way their faces don't fit talking characters at all. Like having that blank stare with the big eyes makes a lot of sense for these little apes that just run when they're supposed to talk. It just looks weird. <laughs> She's actually singing it, okay. <laughs> Just look at that footage in the bottom right. This is a riot. turn Not sure how to deal with her yet, but... Oh man, these attack patterns though. I'm guessing that's the time you need to shoot at her, probably? quite figured it out yet unfortunately but... 
At least we get to start here again. get up here. Wow, I just made a wrong assumption. Okay, completely on me. My fault, sorry. <laughs> she sounded a lot better when she was singing, you know. Ow. Okay, can we do it now? I like how elaborate this boss battle is with that first phase of the, the music video. And this is basically the same principle but more difficult. Very funny. I got knocked off. Ah, cookies. Thank you. Here you go. At least we got to catch this one, unlike the last boss. Good job, but Pippachi wasn't there. Pippachi wasn't there, that's true. I'm worried. Just where could Pippachi be? Eh, we'll find him soon enough. But first... PS2 loot boxes. Oh, finally, the Monkey Statue Part 5. The old lady still seemed upset, but the old man decided to leave her and let her sleep on it. It wasn't an ideal solution, but you see, this is how people often solve things. <laughs> After a while, a sound was heard coming from outside. It sounded as if something large had been dropped outside the door. Secret photo. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like he had a major realization there. More soundtracks. Another manga. Wow. <laughs> it looks kind of horrible when you when you see him actually with a big bump on his head like that. Okay, so the premise of that joke was that she stole the stun club and then used it to hang dry, to dry clothes from. A jumbo coin. Ah, oh, yeah. I have no idea what that means, but it sounded ominous. Alright, is it part 6? It is! When they looked at the site, they found a bundle of fashionable women's clothing. Well, 
Oh, that's not about that. 17? I mean, why not let me just- why not just let me catch all 18 at that point if you're gonna cut me off well before getting the last one? Well, fine, it's fine. Oh, look at them. Maybe it's because they're all so close together, huh? monkeys and it still took me this much effort. Monkey Chan. Marshall. Okay, this guy needs a bump in the head, clearly. Simiski? I don't know what that means, but I bet it's a reference of some kind. John Paul, okay then. Wesley. Well, we caught a lot of them at least, even if we also let a lot of them get away. I mean, who's keeping score, right? Except, you know, the game. <laughs> Jumps right back up. Aha! He, he thought he got away. But of course, you can't escape. I think that was all of them, but... Are you a Pokémon? He didn't even argue. That's probably for the best. I was half expecting him to be like, But it's too dangerous, Jimmy. The Triforce of Courage. that monkey Buddha? What's that supposed to be? It looks like the Buddha, but wouldn't that be considered sacrilegious, sacrilegious in Buddhism? I don't know. Nassim. I've seen the name before, but usually written with a Z instead of an S. One hundred percent guaranteed that there's a uh, an ape in one of these. Or maybe not. Well, I'm still holding on to hope. Only one more chance. But no, there were no apes. There is an ape over there, however. Come on, can, can the camera cooperate? Thank you. Tai Shin. 
Ah, there is still a chance for an ape to be one of the vases. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. I was right all along. Johnny. This is a pretty rocking uh, bit of background music, I gotta say. Ah, more of those wax owls, huh? Means back to outside. Ah, I see. We've looped back around. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I probably need to push this out from the other side, so the other path will probably eventually lead to that, if I had to guess. It just makes sense that way, you know? Apes as far as the eye can see. That's what I like to see. Yeah. I was gonna crawl under here, but what's the point? You can just jump over. Ow. They're also sporty in the stage. <laughs> Again, for the second time today, I was like, wait. Did I kill him? Even though I know full well it's never possible to kill apes in these games. I still was worried for a brief moment there. I saw him fall, I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Traumatic flashbacks to dropping the baby penguin off the, uh, off the mountain in Mario 64. Ryan! This is one of the fast ones. If we can catch it without a s without it, well, that's that, so much for that. Yeah, I was gonna say it's best to catch him before he starts running. It's most convenient after all. Okay, you want to fight? Ow! He brought it. <laughs> You're mine, monk. Jewels. But spelt with a double O. You can run, but you can't hide. I wish it would turn the other way. This way he's gonna he's gonna see me, yep. Tried to hit him blindly and it didn't work. Ow, ow. Mm. 
Well. Well, there goes the browser notification again. He got past me. Ow. That was bad. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe it's really a blessing in disguise. Yeah, nice. You're done, James. It was a blessing in disguise. But that definitely wasn't. Whoops. Oh, it only takes away one health, not a life when I fall. Interesting. It's always interesting in platformers. An encounter with an enemy, if you get hit, is usually punished less severely than falling. Because platformers are all about... There we go, platformers are all about... Daniel C. Oak? Daniel Cook? Yeah, platformers are usually all about the uh, acrobatics, you know? So getting hit by an enemy is one thing, but falling is a more severe mistake, I guess. But in games where both the combat and platforming are important in their own way, it makes more sense to punish both on equal terms, like this game does. If that makes any sense. I'm basically just... Uh, Running on caffeine and hopes and dreams, and no energy, so... <laughs> Please excuse me if my analytical thinking isn't quite on the mark here. Well... Well... Patience is the most important quality here. There we go. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at here due to the glitching. see anything. Well, he did see anything. <laughs> Ow. Oh, thank you. Yeah, nice. Adorable. I'm glad we have our companion back. Nice job. Yeah, even the stage clear is uh, is more well done in this game. Like the way each of the monkeys appears, it's uh, with a bit more bang, shall we say? Hippichi, you really had us worried. But you wanted to be with you, Jimmy. Duh. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Monkey supper. Oh, cool. Concept art for the pink monkey. And her, uh, final form. You know, 
I haven't wanted to comment on it, but why is the top of their head shaped like that? Ah. Exactly, exactly what we needed. Today's fortune. One night next week, your ear marks to be hunted down by a grinning female ghost. What? The ear marked to be hunted down by a grinning female ghost. That is the most disturbing thing I've read all week. Your fortune is bad today. There's no point in trying to hide from her. I came here for goodies from the PS2 loot boxes, and instead I got a nightmarish creepy pasta. Thank you. Never using that again. <laughs> Wow. Here, oh, no, 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 no. No. Hush. Let me just make a save here. I'm guessing that one really increased the percentage a fair bit due to how many uh, monkeys there were in that stage. Simeon Citadel, huh? Thirteen, yeah, they're really uh, increasing the numbers here. Not that I mind, but... Definitely means each we're dealing with bigger stages here. And wacky background music. Very, uh, Egyptian sounding, yeah. I hate that you can crawl up the stairs. I can crawl up the stairs in real life, so why, why can't I do it here? Ah, it's one of these rocket fellas. Sly. Before we move on, it might be beneficial to get up there. Let's replace the RC car for now, because it's the most situational uh, weapon we have. Uh, it would be better to just use the stairs. Huh? It's a good exercise, after all. Ah, yes. Kaboom. Didn't miss a beat. Alex has been caught. Ah, they're expecting us to swim too. But you can go here or there. Or at least they would be expecting us to go here, but I haven't found the switch that activates this yet. So, let's go into the water. Always look back in case there are secrets, that's a rule. They're putting those little gold pieces here to let us know we can climb up here. And we can open the door again with that. So... Nothing else to see in this room. At least not on this floor. Ooh, stars! I like that. 
start in this interior and we uh, climb out into the uh, the night sky. Man, this reminds me, which is weird because it's actually, this game predates it, but this reminds me so much of Mario Galaxy, you know? Ooh. He kept walking for a bit longer than I would have expected. I mean, up until it, it's even stars, you know? Norman? You're out, Norman. Interesting. This would be more effective at stopping people from climbing up if they all, you know, disappeared at once, but sure. And this is beautiful. I really love night skies. Um, here's a completely random weird thing this reminded me of, but... Uh, back in the day, I, uh, when I was a child, shall we say, I loved to draw, uh, use those little uh, color-in drawings, you know? You could print them out and you could color them in. And there was one uh, uh, based on Mario, I think. It must have come with a Nintendo Power or something. Yeah, it had Mario looking through a telescope at the night sky, and I really loved it. It's one of my favorite... Uh, One of my favorite things to print and draw, so I did it often. <laughs> and I wonder if I could find it again. I mean, I'm not gonna look for it right now, but... Yep, yep. Go in here or move to... Well, we might as well. I think this is actually the way ahead anyway. for the cookie. I feel like they're being a bit more uh, stingy with the cookies. They're putting me on a diet. I wonder if there's any point in uh, talking to this one. But... The monkeys who use scopes seem to prefer green pants. Scopes? You mean like goggles? must be for spotting moving enemies. So if you stand still, they won't notice you? Ah, yes, of course. Well done, Natalie. Sound deductive reasoning. Okay, so they're predator apes. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, there's not much point if they never look my way anyway. Try to shoot at you, they can't run away. Ah, 
Word. Got him while he was reloading. <laughs> no secrets here? This is where I would have put a secret. But... Oh, hey. But there are secrets here. I really do need the extra health, so that's good by me. Alright, let's go in. Oh, actually, let's check the other side first. And we know there was a secret on that side. It follows that there is a secret on this side as well. Symmetry. <laughs> I like how, how Pipachi is holding on for dear life while you run. Is that a whale? Just have to check my phone for a second. Let's see, in terms of life updates. <laughs> In terms of life updates. Uh, you remember I worked on this mobile game called Jelly Jellies? Uh, it got an update recently. Hmm. It got an update recently and, uh, well... I'm really starting to build up some momentum. Ooh, this is weird and awkward. Mur monkey. I wonder if that's a un completely unique one. Well, don't drown. But anyway, yeah, so the game got updated. Smaller file size, higher compatibility, all that good stuff. I'm pretty stoked about it. Been uh, being marketed pretty aggressively, so. Let's hope it uh, catches on a bit, eh? That would be nice if I. Uh, I were involved with a best selling app, even though it's less selling and more a free download with in app purchases. You know what I mean. I just like the term best seller. That one sure is having a whale of a time. <laughs> nice. Just recedes into his hiding spot. Like a like a like a bird in a cuckoo clock. Jonah, appropriate. Jonah was the uh, the biblical figure who was swallowed up by the whale. Even though this one was more so on top of the whale, but creative license, I guess. <laughs>
Uh, there's some money here, but not really any reason to uh, go up the cannon, is there? Glass in between here, isn't there? Yeah. Hmm. I somehow got up here. <laughs> okay, so that's where I came from, I'm pretty sure. Can we go where the whale went? Ah, uh, yeah, that was kind of obvious when I think about it. <laughs> I mean, they opened this huge passageway and they even show the whale going in there. I guess it kind of makes sense. Alright, I can't use my tools in here. Like I also can't catch apes like this, or I, I can shoot. I can shoot. No rockets, please. Fohan? Fohan? That's an interesting name, but I'll take it. Oh, we can actually just move on in the sub. I like how he has a little star in his uh, in his light. Like an angler fish. Even though those fish are kind of scary in nature. Lack of range on the torpedoes is an issue. Kind of hard to get around, and I'm guessing the yellow, the uh, yellow, the red blinking means I'm not far off from uh, having this thing break apart. Oh. dies instantly. There wasn't even any room to swim away there. I was just gone. Instantly. I mean, if you're in an, in, inside an exploding submarine, that's probably what would happen, but even so. Cut me some slack here. <laughs> Look back for secrets, that's the rule. Right, we will only be able to catch one of these guys. I wonder if there's any point in shooting this guy off the, uh... Ah, 
That was surprisingly effective. you might not expect. Be creative. Okay, okay. that he wears one of the hats just like the uh, other apes. Monkey Statue Part 7. According to their neighbors, the lights are on until very late that night. That's cute. Ah, cool. You gotta love uh, getting some insight on the process, right? Monkey school? Never trust a monkey. Ooh. That's a very beautiful environmental drawing. I wonder if we can find a few more of those while we're at it. Oh, a new fable. <laughs> Moncarella 2, part 1. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young monkey named Moncarella, who was very poor. Moncarella always worked very hard despite being constantly tormented by her mean-spirited sisters. One day, word came that there would be a splendid ball at the castle, and one by one, the ladies of the land were invited. All except for poor Moncarella. Moncarella. It seems that tears of frustration are salty, <laughs> while tears of, <laughs> of sadness are rather watery. Well then. Let's just save real quick. <laughs> See what's next. Panic Pyramid. Another Egyptian style level, huh? Alright, 10 out of 15. That makes more sense than 17 out of 18, you know? Oh, look at this. <laughs> in this level are especially uh, freaked out, shall we say. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is.
Wow. It's just taunting me. Ah, he, he, he was trying to get me to fall into the trap, huh? Too bad it is you who has been trapped, Jimbo. He thought he had me. Well, that wasn't accurate at all, but I'm glad it worked. Okay, full health. Feels good, man. Oh, you can break those. I hope I didn't miss any somehow. Hmm. Two possible paths to go, huh? We can send our, uh, our C car across here, or we can go in here. Interesting. We actually need it to go here. Okay. First things first. Whoa, can we not do this? Thank you. <laughs> that was making me dizzy for a second. Yeah, it's already closing. Can't make it now. So let's do that again now that we know what to do. I was for, uh, for a moment I was afraid the uh, eggplant bee had destroyed my uh, RC car, but... Fortunately not. There, easy peasy. Huh. Can we circumvent this altogether by using the, uh... Nope, it won't allow us. It was pretty easy to make, honestly. Just had to be a bit quick about it. Mm -hmm. That moving platform may look intimidating, but don't worry. Slowly does it. Make a well-timed jump and you'll be fine. That's how the cookie crumbles. Okay. 
Okay. Part of the problem there was my over-reliance on the Skyflyer there. Sometimes you just need to jump and commit. Instead of readjusting using the double jump and the sky flyer. You have to be committed to your cause. What? What? That was very dangerous many times in a row, but I still made it. By sheer dumb luck, how about that? for my money here. There you go, Eric. This is definitely one of the tougher stages so far. So we can't... Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I like that if you stand around for a while, people actually uh, makes a little bubble that shows you what item to use. If you're having trouble, basically. I am having trouble, but not with the item to use, but rather <laughs> with getting across with it. By the way, pineapple birds. Many separate areas in this place. It's always the surprisingly normal names that get a chuckle out of me. Gordon. Wax Owl, but more evil. Sometimes he takes just one, one step more than I expect, and it really freaks me out. I don't want to fall off the edge. Okay, here you go. Easy does it. Huh. Use. 
Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I got too impatient. I can run through it somehow. Well, what's he doing? I'm running in place. Well, it seems you can't go there, at least not yet. It's not going so well, is it? Just have to try one more thing. <laughs> There's an ape in one of these. I mean, there has to be, right? Yep. Just called Sphinx, huh? Real close to finishing this one. Unfortunately, we're back in glitch land. this if we can get up there, Herba. Guessing it has something to do with this box since there is no switch to push it on. We need to catch one more. Oh, that's fine. I need to figure out where it is, but it's all part of the fun. <laughs> wow, this looks terrifying when it glitches. Yeah, it doesn't really carry you uh, for a long distance anymore, does it? Well, there were other places to explore here, right? Oh, that just drops you on spikes. I figured it might send me down to a lower area, but all it did was hurt me.
treading old ground here, but... if there wasn't anything there, but I guess not. That's fine, though. check behind us. So where could I have missed one? I mean, there are plenty of places. I remember two areas that seemed kind of difficult to reach due to the fire. So we should probably examine those a bit more closely. Yeah, those. They, uh... If I could extinguish them somehow, that would be beneficial. Because it sure seems like they want me to stand on it, but... to use the RC car here, but... Is there any way we can attach ourselves? Thank you. Is there any way we can attach ourselves to this platform without straight up burning to death. For some reason I have trouble tra making this thing travel in a straight line. I wonder if we already have a method of us extinguishing these things and I just haven't figured it out. an altogether disastrous situation.
Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I just had a thought, shall we say. I know it doesn't happen often, but... Here's the, uh, here's the idea. These things cannot be, um... You can't stand on them, but... What if they give you an extra burst of air time because of the hot air? Hmm. Well, if that is what it is, I certainly can see the effect of it. Okay, but we, we learned something useful. Why can't he just grab onto the ledge? Yeesh. Anyway, we learned something important. You can grab onto the edge of these things. That's uh, pretty critical information, if I do say so myself. Question is, how are we gonna do that reliably? It's getting close, uh, well, back. And every time it resets the cage, making things even more bothersome. Hmm. Very close to the edge here. You could... <laughs> well, this is not going well. Why does, why does he climb up instantly? Well, I don't quite get it yet. I can't believe how long I've been stuck on this stage, man. Oh, these are just trapped with spikes, I guess. The second place we could look at is here, but... Well, we weren't able to pass through there either. Ow. wasn't perfect, but you know what? I'll take it. We should be able to get over this, right? Well, I brute forced it. I don't know if that was the right way to do it, but I don't care. There we go, finally! Well yes. That's a relief! <laughs> I was worried I was going to be stuck in this stage. Uh oh, it's a boss. Finally made it. I am the awfully talented 
defeated White Monkey of the Freaky Monkey Five. Before I get revenge, I'm going to have to borrow that baby monkey you have there. So hand him over to me right now. Uh, no way! Oh! Ah, why you eat salad pests? In that case, you leave me no choice but to. Oh my God, what is that? But there's nothing there. I can't believe this. He's right here, kid. This little guy is so friendly with you, yeah? He'll be a great source of death on humans. So say goodbye to him. Why, you? What are you doing with our Pippigy? Give him back! Now! I don't think so. If you want him back, you'll have to beat me first. But that won't be possible. Unless you can stop the robot Jimmy that we constructed based on your data. I am so clever. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, now where did I put that speech? Oh, there you are. Ready? Go! Okay, then. <laughs> well, that was quite the cutscene there. And also, the monkey is German. Of course, when you have an evil genius type character, he has to have a, a German accent. It's inevitable. I like that he uses the tools I use, that's a funny idea for a boss. I wonder if he has a second face, just like the last boss, because this isn't that hard yet. <laughs> Go ahead, do that attack again. <laughs> well, there we go. This victory means nothing. Nothing, I tell you. All we have to do... His accent disappeared for a second there. <laughs> lethargy laser. There we go. Laser. What an insidious invention. It sure sounds like it. We must stop Spectre's mischief at all costs. Lethargy laser. <laughs> Buffy the Blowfish. Oh, 
Oh, nice. On the night of the ball, Moncarella was still at home alone, singing miserably while still dreaming of attending. Then all of a sudden a magician appeared, and with the wave of a wand provided her with a banana carriage and a beautiful flowing dress. The young Moncarella, ecstatic about her change of fate, boarded the, boarded the carriage and headed for the castle. To be continued. I hope you don't mind me indulging in some more PS2 loot boxes. Ah, nice. <laughs> I really needed that. Nice. <laughs> the three disco monkeys. Even the banana carriage smelled simply wonderful. The seats, the door, the interior, everything made of bananas. Moncarella was truly overwhelmed, so she bit straight into the seat. Sometime later, when she arrived at the castle, she had grown to the size of a small sumo wrestler. Wait a minute, is this the backstory of Yellow Monkey? However, by the satisfied look on her face, it seemed that she didn't mind. The end. The end? Wait a minute. That can't be where it ends. But speaking of ending, haha. <laughs> Smooth transition there. Um, we've been streaming for two hours, so I'm gonna look at one more stage. Uh, if it's not too, too extensive, I'll, I'll finish it and then we'll uh, call it done. And go on for next time. But we did two bosses in a fair, about, a fair amount of stages, so... Pretty happy about my progress. But we'll check out one more stage to see how that goes. Jimmy, I'm sending a new gadget. Ooh, a new gadget. I hope this helps you. A nifty water cannon. Put a dampener on those mischievous monkeys with various water techniques. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Water torture. Honestly, I just wanted to hear this music again. Okay, so this is what I need to douse the fires. Of course, they gave me that one stage later. Mean. Jimmy, can you hear me? It's time for some fun with the water cannon. This gadget can be used to douse flames. Simply rotate the right analog stick to fire a powerful jet of water. You can continue shooting water while you're walking. Try putting out those flames over there with the water cannon. Hmm. Takes a while, but fine. <laughs> it's just a fire hydrant on my arm, though. For the base to get that water wheel spinning. And there we go. We can now douse the flames. Twelve, huh? I'm gonna see how far I'll get, but I'm kind of falling asleep with the wheel here. Oh, hey, Titanic. Monkey sailors, huh? I only talk to sailors. Yo ho ho! And a bottle of rum. Oh, I see. Well. So they can shoot themselves out of, uh, out of cannons. An interesting strategy, but it didn't really pay off. <laughs> Still, 
a fun idea. I like how many monkey variations there are in this game. We keep seeing new ones. Increased variation is the mark of a good sequel. Yeah. Oh. It's not really a fair general rule to set. Some games do better with uh, variation than others, but even so. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's much else to see, much else to see here. I guess this is the anchor then. Anchor? I hardly know her. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything in the water after all. I wonder if this is just a secret? Nope, invisible walls! I wonder what this little, uh, little island is for then. Alright! Be prepared to get wet! Ow! This room looks a bit difficult. For some reason I had trouble recognizing the Sky Flyer for what it was. I wonder if you can catch this other one without making him go into cannon. Nice! A non-cannon resolution. No! Well, fine. He'll come back here. He always returns to the scene of the crime. This time, don't waste time trying to grab him with the net, just hit him first. Knock him down. No. I wanted to find a non-violent resolution, but... As we say here, he who does not want to listen has to feel. Oh, this leads somewhere. Hmm. Some of the rooms are pretty intricate in this uh, in this game. I like it. Dick. Very appropriate.
Wait a minute. Why does... Okay. Wow. Doesn't this remind you a bit of Mario Sunshine? Wow. That lake of lava looks really dangerous. You need to stay calm, Jimmy. Use the boat to move safely. Do you remember how to row the boat? Rotate the left and right a simpler way, but you won't move. Well, man, this is so bright, it's hurting my eyes a little bit. I like that. I really like the names. I haven't fully explored this room yet, but... Ooh, there we go. We desperately needed that. I wonder if the drop rates of such important items goes up when you actually need them. Because I noticed enemies start to drop cookies more when you actually are near death. So there's a, a monkey here. Very good as well. I feel like I, I say that a lot about a lot of games, but I guess I just kind of feel like music is forgotten too often. So, how do we do this? Do we flood him out? I guess that doesn't work. Gonna have to play whack a mole then? Had to try catching him. Bobby! I would have expected a whack a mole joke of some kind, but there you go. 
Bobby. That was a very suspicious barrel. I half expected there to be an ape in there, but... Ow. He was trying to do something and I didn't give him a chance to do it because, you know. But now I don't know what he act what his special ability actually is. Now we're back out here, huh? I don't feel ready to go back yet, so let's uh, let's explore a little bit more. Right, we just check there, just making sure. Here's another one. Two more. Indie. Yeah, I've been going through this game pretty quickly. At least it feels pretty quick, considering we're, uh... I mean, there's five bosses, right? And we did four, so... Completion may take a while yet, but getting to the end of the main story is probably gonna be pretty soon already. Although, if it's anything like its predecessor, we'll actually need everything, every monkey, before we can actually see the ending, so... You know, we'll just have to see how it goes. Hmm. Maybe returning to start is not such a bad idea. These two, king of the world, shall we say? They're just on the boat, how did I miss them? Was I just not paying attention? This is one benefit of regularly having the monkey radar out. Perhaps I should use it more often. I've been kind of avoiding it because I felt like I didn't need it. Especially in these more sprawling, large stages, perhaps it would be good to... No! Well, I really messed that one up, didn't I? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Come here. Okay.
Nice! That would have been way easier if I just explored the opening area better, but... Hey, we did it in the end. Alright, now let's get a few uh, loot boxes and then call it, uh, call it done for tonight. Ah, very good, very good. Ooh, the professor. Why does he look so evil? Today's fortune. If you buy ice cream at the shop today, you have an 80% chance of winning another one. Your fortune is very good today. Groovy. That's what we like to hear. Ooh, this is an interesting design for Jimmy. I'm glad they went for the more cute design they have now, though. The Eiffel Tower, but uh, with a banana. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice sketch. Uh, for Halloween a few years ago, I drew a ghost ship. Kind of reminds me of that. Though this this art is probably better, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Not the least research memo. Not sure what she's doing research for. <laughs> she's. Uh, I don't see how that applies to our adventure. You know, today's fortune. You will grow slightly taller today. <laughs> Your fortune is quite good today, but who knows about tomorrow? <laughs> There's no stopping. Interesting that he did have Pipochi in that version of the level, even though I don't have him with me. <laughs> Pro crab input. Nice. Ah, there we go. That's more the design they went with in the end. Okay, let's start on a new Monkey Fable and then call the stream uh, done for now. Monkey Fables Thumbalachi, part one. Once upon a time, there was a tiny little Pipachi who was just three centimeters tall. He was called Thumbalachi and he traveled by boat from land to land, armed with a needle. Yeah, sounds a bit like Hollow Knight. Uh, he was a brave little Pipachi who punished evil wherever it was found. More than punished, actually he crushed it and without ever saying a word. Sounds, uh, powerful. Right, let's make a save here and then, uh, we're done I think. Okay, let's return to the uh, title screen here. Yeah. Weren't many people uh, uh, visiting the stream today, unfortunately, but, but that kind of makes sense because we never stream on Thursday. Maybe I shouldn't have even done it, but hey, when you have the energy and the opportunity, you might as well. So hey, that was another Aperscape stream. Thanks to everyone who visited and watched the stream. And thanks to everyone who watches it on YouTube as well. I hope to catch you next time when we catch even more apes. <laughs> so, until then, have a great day or night, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.